Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Nightmare Run on Doom, the Ultimate Doom. This is Brandon B. Rich here, and we are doing a Nightmare Run on Episode 3, um, Inferno. Which, ironically, is actually probably the easiest one to do a run on because of the lack of shooters and the abundance of, not his scan enemies, but the other projectile enemies, I guess you could call them. But just look at all the fireballs in this field. Since monsters attack twice as fast and do double damage on here, not only is it... <laughs> extra cautious to avoid them, but also it's just not worth killing the cacodemons with a straight up pistol. And since we don't have a shotgun, I rush to go grab the shotgun and kill the one imp so I can get out of there. The secret isn't to kill the enemies, but rather to rush past them without getting hit. So that's exactly what I do. Man, I got I got nabbed in the butt there real hard with one of those cacodemon shots. Or who knows, it could have been a freaking imp's fireball. I don't have any armor, so damage right, right now is very critical to my health. I beat this map in two attempts. The first attempt I died because I got the shotgun and when I got into the room with the imps I got trapped and they all three hit me all at once and I died. So second attempt went way smoother as you can see. There's plenty of help at the end here if you need it and that is that. The first map, Hellkeep, is finished successfully. I will try and recall all of my attempts on each map. Also check out the kill percentage, pretty nice. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next map, Slough of Despair. This one took me three attempts. The first, I tried rushing into the middle of the maze, thinking I would dodge all the bullets if I stayed in there, but turns out it's littered with lost souls and gunners, so I grab this health and I actually stick to the left of the map, because on second attempt, I run to the right to go and get the chain gun. But little did I realize that chain gun is heavily guarded with lots of hit scan enemies and lost souls, and it's really just not worth it. So I end up sticking with the left and getting the blue key. The secret to this map is getting the blue key and getting the hell out of there as quick as you can, no pun intended. So we'll go ahead and I, I kill a few cacodemons to make sure I have a route out of here because if I tried to run past them and got trapped, then I'd be really screwed and that would not be fun and I'd have to redo this map. For those of you that haven't watched my other two videos, I'll post links in the description to those videos. And in addition, I will post a non-commentary version of these Nightmare Runs so that you can watch them without me talking over the videos. But yeah, that's Slav Despair. Super quick map. Easy if you know what you're doing. Um, <coughs> on to Pandemonium. This map took me probably four attempts if I remember correctly. I died once up in this place because of all the imps and kinkies that were around me. And since enemies attack twice as fast, I got bit a lot by the pinkies. And of course the, the imps freaked me out too. Um, I died a couple of other times by a Baron of Hell. Don't rush on the right path, it's not worth your time. I went right once and, and it went awful, so just stick left. You have to grab the blue key to exit the level, so you have to go down here. Going up here is essential because you get the 200 armor bonus. And armor means everything in a nightmare, nightmare speedrun alongside him. There is a Baron of Hell here, but I ignore him. What ends up happening is whenever I go to this area, this pinky always blocks my escape. Um, somehow I got around him, but typically what will happen is he'll block me in that doorway, and then the freaking Baron of Hell will throw his green fireballs at my back, and I will die that way. So, anyways, I step up on this platform in hopes of health because I'm only at 57, and I want to try to have more health for this next part because as you'll see, there are loads of enemies. In addition, sorry, I'm tripping over my words here. I guess you could say I'm excited. In addition, I didn't use the rocket launcher previously because I forgot I had it, but I also had four rockets and I wanted to save them. And then I figured, what am I going to save them for? I might as well use them to get to the next level. So rockets are the way to go in that final room, not shotgun, because what will end up happening is all the enemies you kill in that first room will respawn after you're done with those imps and you will die from behind the enemies. This map took me only two attempts. The first attempt I died because I didn't use my invulnerabilities very smartly, and you'll see why in a second. But with this map, don't go right or left, just skip straight down the middle and just kill all these enemies as many as you can <coughs> until you have a clear shot to those switches over there. Because once you do, you can get invulnerability, and that is how you beat this map is invulnerability. Acting quick and getting the chain gun, so you don't need the chain gun in that other map that I mentioned in the second map. You can get it here. Just rush as quick as you can, ignore the Lost Souls, and ignore the Baron of Hell. Crazy how the Baron of Hell is such a common enemy now, even though it was a boss in that episode. You have to act quick here too, avoid as many enemies as you can. A lot of non-essential parts in this map that make this map way longer than it needs to be. The secret to flipping these switches is the one in front of you and the one to the left of the one in front of you. Once you switch those four, all the doors will be open to you, 
grab the yellow key, and then wait till you have a decently clear shot to grab this immortal ability and go to town because you have to use this time with the immortal ability and treasure it every single second because it really adds up. And then you'll look at all these enemies. Imagine playing without immortal ability, it would be insane. I also decided to kill the Baron of Hell because he snuck up on me one time before and killed me, so I make sure to get rid of him. That backpack also gave me a few extra rockets that I need. This Cacodemon's in my way, so I hurry flip the switch. I ended up getting stuck in here with two pinkies and a Baron of Hell behind me, and I ended up dying because I didn't have any room to dodge the bullets. At this point, the map is already basically over. I knew I had it in the bag once I got past that part, but that was the only part I died at was the Baron of Hell trapping me inside that room with the switch. Forgot about that Cacodemon, kind of caught me by surprise. I don't know why I forgot, because you can always throw stuff like this even in the exit room. But that's House of Pain, ladies and gentlemen. Not too terrible, but definitely can bite you in the butt if you're not careful. And if you use the vulnerabilities right, it is a breeze. This map, I didn't know how I was going to attack it. I didn't know how fast I could beat it. I did a 100% playthrough, but I had never attempted a speedrun, let alone a nightmare speedrun. So I figured I'd go in here, at least I can grab something that might help me. It's one of the secrets in the map. The application visors actually surprisingly make a big difference. I was going to try and go through this room with all the imps, but then after, after it took me forever to kill them, I was like, you know what, forget this, I'm going to go around and go straight through the teleporters and see what's essential. I thought in order to beat this map you had to go through all four teleporters, but it turns out you only need to go through one teleporter. There's also a secret in this map, if you press A on the wall, not that one, but the one with that symbol right up there, you actually need a yellow key if you read the top left to open that secret door. So I said forget it. Go straight left when you go through the middle teleporter and it'll teleport you to this room. I thought with the invisibility I could sneak past them. Nope. You know, right where you are. So, you gotta be careful. Pinky blocked my path and freaked me out. I thought I was gonna die, but I didn't. The blue key is in this room over here. There are lots of pinkies in this map, so you have to partially kind of get lucky, but also kind of know your way around the map and the specters as well. You don't actually have to step up in these rooms to flip the switch. You can flip it from the side. And I tried to flip this one, but realized that that switch actually lowered the blue key. So I grabbed the blue key, get stuck in this corner with these specters, <coughs> take care of both of them with one shotgun shot because I'm that badass. And then I go through this teleporter, which brings me to this familiar room. Most of the pinkies have teleported into that middle area, but we don't have to go back to that middle area. We can actually go straight for the exit. The reason I'm trying to kill the Lost Souls is so they don't attack me from behind, but it looks like they're successful at it anyways. So that's Unholy Cathedral. Definitely could have been faster at some por sorry, portions, parts. I definitely could have been faster at some parts, but for now, I called that a successful run, so I kept it. On to the next map. This map, I could beat in less than 20 seconds using a, uh, not cheat, but using a glitch to where you can press the secret switch through the wall. However, I wanted this to be a glitchless nightmare run, so I decided to, you know, not, not do that exploit. It, if you guys watch my 100% ultraviolence playthrough, I actually do this map, and I show you not only the normal way to get into the secret exit, but also the cheap way, in which you all have to fire a single shot or kill a single enemy. You literally just run through the switch and press it, and it's that easy. But since this is glitchless, we have to go through all this pain and suffering, so here we go. The invulnerability is the key to getting out of here. If you run out of invulnerability, it's okay because I end up getting lost and not knowing where to go. So I basically take a tour of the entire map and I get nervous that I'm going to start to run out of invulnerability. So what I do is I actually grab this invulnerability right over here with all these enemies and all that camera because why the heck not? It's like Halloween. Getting all the goodies we can. Now this is the area down here that you want to go to. You want to go into this teleporter while you're still invulnerable, that way you don't take any damage from all these guys. Have your rocket launcher out because that is how you're going to get into this area here. I could have gone the normal exit but I decided to go the secret exit because I actually really like the secret map and I wanted to do all nine maps in every episode. Episode one is an exception but I definitely wanted to do the secret map on the nightmare one. Still beat it in part time. This map is like map one on episode three but it has a twist. 99% of you watching this video will actually know the twist already, but for those that don't, it's just uh, there's a cyber demon and a whole bunch of other <laughs> enemies. But the invulnerability is going to come in super handy for this map as well. So again, I uh, rush around them, but this time since freaking fireball got me out of it, I could not believe that. When I was going through the door, I was like, 
again. Like, it's always 89 or something. I don't know what's up with that. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, I don't go for the shotgun this time on the left because I already have the shotgun. So that's one nice thing about this map compared to the other ones. You already have your full arsenal. Instead of shotgunning all these imps, I pull out my rocket launcher and show these men who's boss. Sorry, who's you know, sweet boss. Boom. Left. And there's no rocket launcher in there this time, interestingly enough. Now, when you go in the exit teleporter, it will lower down this area with the side view. Which on first playthrough can be quite the shock in all honesty. Some people do a back and forth swivel motion. I don't trust myself to do that, so I kind of circle around him. But don't get too close. <laughs> you'll eat a rocket like I just did there. But don't get close to the wall, otherwise you'll shoot yourself. Don't get too close to the back wall, otherwise his rocket blasts will actually bounce off the wall and blast you, and you do not want that. The reason I'm not grabbing the invulnerability is because I'm going to save it, and you guys will see why it makes the remaining portions of this map 10 times easier. I, I trust myself to kill Cyber Demon more than I do to get by without being hit on the next one. Grab the invisibility, because why not? Not that we'll need it really, because of this right here. Make sure you have a running head start and then go. Straight front if you can, strafing is running diagonally. You actually run a few frames faster when you do straight running. It's an amazing tactic. It's actually how you get to certain places in Doom 2. As you can see, there's a lot of Spectres and Pinkies. I flipped the switch to get another invulnerability here. And bam, just run, run, run. Try to avoid all this if you can. Pull out the rockets if you can, or uh, your plasma auto rifle. I prefer rockets because they're a little quicker than the plasma auto rifle. And you don't see down from your own rockets. All I have to do is grab this red key because if you open that, four barons of hell will come out of that room, and also you're surrounded by constant shotguns. And so that's why I saved the invulnerability for that part because of just look how insane that room was. Those were all shotguns. So that's Warren's. A lot easier if you know how to use your invulner invulnerabilities. I keep tripping over that word. If you know how to use your invulnerabilities, right, this map is a cakewalk and a fun one at that. But yeah, if you don't know, you're going to be in for a rude awakening. Now this map took me two attempts. Um, I was saving the game so that I wouldn't, you know, die in the middle of the map and have to restart from pistol start. But uh, the reason I got hit was because those enemies spawn right there like and since it's on nightmare they're almost guaranteed to hit you no matter how fast you react so yeah be prepared to get hit if you're going into this level with like two health there's a 90 percent chance you're not going to survive <laughs> you have to get lucky with the rng missing you the random number of game i guess you could call it but uh yeah with this maze you just stick left and eventually you'll find the right place i did the stick left method because it's really easy to get lost in this place so as you can see i'm sticking left sticking left and if you go around this teleporter, the red key is actually right here. We're already over halfway done with the map. So you just flip that switch and it'll open a few doors. And then go in this teleporter right here. Now, there is a red door back here. There are two red doors in this area, but we're going to skip the second one. This first one flips the switch. I don't know what the heck that switch does. I just know it does something. <laughs> I wish I could explain it to you, but I don't. Um, you can watch my 100% walkthrough and it'll probably explain it in that. But yeah, there's another red door to the left there, but we're going to skip it. We're actually going to run across into the middle area because these areas will also raise a bridge that will be essential for escaping the level. If you do it in the order in which I'm doing it, you'll be fine. Yep, that raises the bridge. And then this door over here that I'm going to go to, ladies and gentlemen, is going to have the yellow key, which will be essential in also escaping. And of course, a bunch of freaking hit scan enemies that are merciless. And if you go down here in the blue door, I, uh, I didn't go on the one on the right, I went on the one on the left because you can actually come out of this place and skip the Baron of Hell that's in there. There's the door we went to earlier to go through that red door maze. And then I grab this Enviro suit, because why not? It'll help me a lot to avoid taking damage. And then boom, into the middle, here we go. Now you need the yellow key to open this yellow door to flip the switch, which will, I don't know, it, it does something important, okay? I, I think it opens the door. Anyways, now we can finally go into this one I skipped earlier and exit this one. That is gate to limbo, everyone. Now on to the final map, Dis. This is just a spider mastermind boss fight. <coughs> I beat this on first attempt. I thought I was going to die, and you'll find out why. The spider mastermind can shoot you from a surprisingly far distance. And you also have to avoid the cacodemons and burn the house 
Yeah, I just sat here and sprayed, and then I got hit from behind here with 24% health, and I was nervous as heck. I was like, there's no health I can pick up. But I went in here, I didn't realize the Spider Mastermind died, but he did, and I skipped this for you so the video would be shorter. This video is only about 15 minutes long, 16. Um, 10 minutes shorter than my episode 1 and 5 minutes shorter than my episode 2. So yeah, ironically, episode 3 was actually easier than the others. And I think this uh, cutscene is iconic, so I put it in the video here for you, ladies and gentlemen. But episode 4 is being worked on. That's going to take a little while to release, just because the first two levels are just so difficult. Not only on Ultra Violence, but Nightmare Mode? I might have to look up YouTube videos on some strategies, because I've spent hours on level 1 alone trying to beat it and it's such a small map so you can imagine the amount of attempts it's taking me but it's just super difficult anyways ladies and gentlemen that will wrap up my nightmare run for episode three like i said i will release a no commentary version of this nightmare run for you and i will also give you a refined and better run until next time